LPR, laryngeal pharyngular reflux, often confused with GERD, gastrointestinal reflux disease, is a condition where your throat hurts and uh, develops a lot of salive, saliva, phlegm, it becomes inflamed, sore, you have difficulty talking and the most common theory that is accepted today uh, was developed by uh, Jamie Kaufman as far as I know and according to her the reason for LPR is a digestive enzyme called pepsin which your stomach uses to digest food um, but this digestive enzyme travels up through your esophagus into, th into your throat area, your larynx and starts to actually digest your throat, t uh, your throat uh, layers of skin instead of digesting food as it should be in the stomach. Pepsin can exist in two states. One is the activated state, one is the deactivated state. As soon as the environment reaches a certain level of pH, if it gets more acidic, then the pepsin gets activated and starts digesting uh, your, your, your skin layers in your throat. Of course, that causes a lot of pain, uh, sore throat and um, speaking pain, post nasal drip, often in the morning when people wake up, when they lay down at night a lot of that pepsin supposedly gets carried up with gases coming from your from your from your guts actually um, through your stomach into your esophagus by the way that is also a sign of uh, bad bacteria overgrowth in your guts if you have too much or if you have excessive gas uh, coming up your throat. That means your bacterial population has shifted to an unfavorable uh, condition, usually caused by years of bad nutrition, uh, eating processed food, sugars, wheat, etc. But talking about LPR, I want to uh, demonstrate a very useful method that people can use to not treat themselves but to control their symptoms. Um, when I talked about the activated and deactivated form of pepsin, the deactivated form of pepsin basically travels and sticks to all your layers in your throat and it can be easily destroyed by drinking just a few sips of a large 7.5, 8 or higher pH liquid water, the best. They sell this water here in Taiwan, it's called pH 9, that's the easiest. All you do is you drink one sip and you deactivate all the pepsin. So the best time to do that would be actually before each meal because the food or other things you drink might have a low pH, it will activate the pepsin and it starts digesting those layers. Um, you can also do it one hour after a meal when, when the digestive enzymes start settling down again as they get carried up by gases. But the best way is really do it before each meal. Also, especially in the morning when you wake up, 
because there's a lot of pepsin that travels up at night uh, because you're laying down and it's easier for things to get up and uh, you can also use if you don't have this water you can also use uh, just baking soda uh, very cheap I uh, just use a half spoon half spoon uh, small super small like a teaspoon and uh, mix it with water gets the pH up right away and once you did that another thing you can do uh, you want to protect your throat layers as good as you can and uh, what I found is very uh, last quite a long time is a simple coconut oil so I usually buy uh, organic coconut oil in large quantities I use it for a lot of things but uh, you can you can do what's called oil flushing or oil pulling uh, for maybe five minutes you swish it around your mouth or, or even less the important thing is the oil will stick to your uh, mucus layers in your larynx and throat and uh, it will last for quite a long time and protect those areas it's not a it's not a cure but it's a, it's a great way of keeping those symptoms under control the underlying problem uh, could be a bad overgrowth of bacteria in your in your guts so you need to restore those and um, yeah so but uh, PPIs uh, proton pump inhibitors or any acid blocking medication will usually not work well or at all for LPR simply to the, due to the fact that pepsin is an acid pepsin is a digestive enzyme so those medications stop acid but they don't stop pepsin or pepsin production that's why most people don't get relief with PPIs at all at all but um, this is uh, a good method to keep symptoms under control and I hope that this uh, can help people